What is up, everyone? This is Hurricane Zero, and this is going to be Operation Bedrock, episode 286, the 286th episode of the Operation Bedrock series. A series where my friends and I are going to be mining the entire world, and there's nothing but bedrock left, except for the floor, of course, because we need something flat to walk on. And I can never get tired of doing this. I absolutely love doing this more and more and more every single time I do it, especially if I'm doing a live stream. And then if I were to do a live stream and somebody who has never seen Operation Bedrock before, a lot of times they get afraid that they think that I'm actually just jumping to my death but that's not the case especially with the slime blocks that are just cushioning the fall right then and there and then i get to run up the staircase just to show everyone that this is what we have done so far in the north side and then i show the east side and then we go back down to the west side to continue on working on what we got right now and currently that we are working on making a staircase just doing it step by step by step all the way across the world but right now i'm thinking of actually doing it by section just doing it section by section just to show everyone how much work that is that has been done and what more needs to be done and i think it's a little bit more organized that way just to show how much progress that has been done between each week and sadly i was not able to really do any live streams within the past week it's just i wasn't really feeling up to it there's going to be some times where i just do not even want to play a bit of minecraft or i just want to just do some work offline and not really actually do a live stream there will be some times that i will be doing that so hopefully it's not going to be too often because I really still got to do a lot more live streams because otherwise then there's not much of a point to keep on the grind if I'm not really pushing myself to continue on making the live streams thus far. But at least we get to see one side versus the other side. And what's funny is that since this is a very old world on its own, a lot of times we will not have a lot of gravel flooring that you would see in a lot of ocean biomes. So a lot of times you will see that there's going to be a lot of sand but we're we're gonna have a lot of dirt especially with the dirt so that's kind of one thing that i've noticed thus far especially with working on an old world versus going on to a new world without further ado let's go ahead and start on the staircase once more is that it's going to be a bit of a project just to get all of this done and it's going to take a lot of time to get this done how long i have no idea but hopefully it's going to be a lot faster than it was or that it took for us to get done with the north side especially that i took a very long hiatus break from playing minecraft altogether and a lot more people are still seeing operation bedrock i've been seeing more and more comments of people saying of how they've remembered operation bedrock back in the day and then they're surprised that i'm still keeping going with it so that's kind of one of the good things that keeps me motivated because there's a lot of people who have actually been away from Operation Bedrock and are seeing it for the first time in a while and they remember how I've been working on this for a very long time. But I will admit it's not as easy getting back into Operation Bedrock as I hope it would have been, mainly because of course I still have a full-time job where I'm working 40 hours a week and then whenever I get home it's already late at night where I just don't really feel like playing a little bit of Minecraft I just want to go eat some food rest up a bit watch a movie on Netflix and then go to sleep that's kind of my schedule when it comes to that especially when I wake up late in the day just to get ready for work and then the cycle continues especially from Mondays through wait no not Mondays but Sundays through no wait yeah Sundays yeah I don't even know my own timeline anymore or my own schedule. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday is when I work five days a week at eight hours at a time. And then for Mondays and Tuesdays, that's when I do some live streams. Hopefully I actually do some live streams. Once again, I have not really been doing live streams for the past week, but I really hope that the next upcoming week, it's going to be a better week for myself. Just got to keep up the grind and especially with a lot of things I've been wanting to do but I have yet to do because of course I, I haven't really been feeling oh too well for myself. So I really hope that this upcoming week or even months down the line is actually going to be better. One thing I'm still looking forward to is actually getting the stimulus check so that I'll be able to at least put more of a payment towards the truck because I still owe a bit of money on that one just to pay off the loan a little bit by little bit. And once that loan is paid off, then I'll be able to save up money for a brand new phone so I can actually do some more mobile recordings and also live streams in the future so that I could actually use the S9 to be able to play the games and then do some videos with that as well and then have the new phone if I want to make even more videos. At least I could have two different angles for one video as well who knows that's kind of one of the things i'm actually looking into and especially that it's a little bit of a tablet on its own so that if i could just do more mobile live streams in that regards then i could actually do so i'm just not too sure exactly which phone to get exactly 
because I know that with the S20, I know it's an Android, but even then I've always been a person that plays on Android, especially because of how easy it is for me to transfer files and to also do videos and live streams with an Android versus an iPhone. So that's why I'm sticking with the Android. So if I'm thinking of getting the S20, since the S21 does not actually have the USB-C spot, I think I could be wrong on that. I know it has, I don't think it has something along the matters. It didn't have a charger. I know that it's kind of weird how that works. I think they actually took out the audio jack. That's kind of one of the other things that I like the audio jack for, and especially if you were to connect a lovelier microphone into the Android phone, that's one of the benefits of doing so. But now I guess that the mic on the actual S21 is a lot better. I'm not even too sure. I got to do a little bit more research before I just spout out nonsense. But even then is either going to be the S20 or the S21. I always go with the latest model and the latest things just for the fact that I'll have a lot more of a little bit of an advantage when it comes to the specifications of said device that it allows me to do a little bit more than I, that I would love to do or at least it'll actually set me up in the future where I'll be able to at least have the option to do so. Again, I'm going to look into it. But if you guys want to at least let me know between the S20 and S21, which would be better for all the different things I would like to do, like making videos, recording audio and things like that but again i'll still be able to use s9 plus so that i'll be able to at least use that for mobile live streaming and all the other things along with that so i could at least make more mobile videos in that regards too but after i finally decide what phone to get i'm gonna go ahead and get myself the xbox series x so that i could actually upgrade from the xbox one x it's still funny and still bad of how they actually name everything it's just so so confusing but in regards to that, that I'll be able to put Operation Bedrock onto the Series X, that it will survive another generation, we can keep on going with that, and then from there, after the fact, then I'll be saving up for a brand new computer, because I really, really need a brand new computer. This one's already getting close to 7 years old and counting, and at some point, it's just going to crash and burn, and I won't be able to do anything along with that anymore. So it's going to be better to at least have better equipment and just have a more upgraded computer to be able to at least handle more stuff. And especially if I want to get more advanced software to run on said computer. There's a lot of things I still got to do. And also a little bit more research of what other applications I could actually get that I'll be able to at least make mobile videos from scratch. And recently is that apparently in the US that YouTube Shorts is actually now in beta. So they're going to be pushing more and more about the update and more about the things that you could do with YouTube Shorts, which I think they should still change that. It's still funny to think that it's what's what's called. It's called Shorts. It just reminds me of clothing. So they really got to change that one of these days. I don't know what else they would be able to call it. Maybe short videos, but they want to at least have the thing where if you want to upload YouTube shorts, you just put shorts in the hashtag in the title or in the description. I put it in the actual title, description, and as well as the tags of the video itself. But they are really, really pushing for more people to actually make more YouTube shorts. So we'll see the future of YouTube when it comes to that. You can still do the content that you want to do, but at least with shorts, that's another way of doing so just to encourage people to make short videos and then just to keep on making more content. That is one way to do it. And I still got to see how it's actually going to reflect on the channel if I were to start making more shorts, especially when I'm thinking of making memes just for that format. Just record the mobile, put the lavalier microphone into the phone and then just spout out memes. Just use some memes, say some memes with a little bit of a broadcasting voice. I still want to know how well that do, especially again, that's still going to fit the need for me to make memes. I've been wanting to make more memes for a very, very long time, but I just haven't brought myself to do that. One of these days though, one of these days I'll be able to do that. But hey, if you have any suggestions about memes I could read, whatever script I could do in under a minute, let me know in the comment section below. I'll read them and let's see if I could actually do it. And yes, let's see if I could actually do it. Who knows, maybe I'll actually butcher up the meme or maybe I could actually make the meme a little bit better. Who knows, one of these days I'll actually start making those videos. But until then, I want to go a bit of sidetrack because one of the things is, is that with the last YouTube short I made, it's about the bees and it kind of relates to the bees 
because good news and bad news is that the good news is is that I am not allergic to bees. But the bad news is is that I got stung by a bee. That was the only way for me to find out that I actually am allergic to them or not allergic to them and I didn't even do it on purpose. All I did was just look at the bees and then one of the bees just decided to go go onto my face and start crawling around and I felt like I was actually going to try to get into my mouth so I just closed my mouth a little bit and then I think that would cause the bee to panic and that's when the bee stung me on the lip. At least it wasn't that bad as I thought it would be and I'm talking about the pain because again I've never been stung by bees before so when I got stung it surprised me and then I actually just ran into the house because knowing that if I were to get stung by a bee that would actually cause all the other bees to go in full-on attack mode so I just just booked it to the house as fast as I can and then I looked in the mirror and see if there's a stinger right there yep there was a stinger so like I picked it out and the pain itself I again it, it wasn't as painful as I thought it would be meaning that I thought it would be a overwhelming overbearing amount of pain and especially that I got stung on the lip out of all places at least it was in the eye because that would have been worse good thing I wore glasses otherwise then yeah that would have been absolutely bad I would probably would have full-on panicked if I got stung on the eye but still it was on the lip it actually swelled up a bit. The pain wasn't oh too overbearing. I was able to deal with it for about a good hour. And then after that, the pain subsided. The swelling wasn't all that bad. There was no itchiness or redness all around. So at least I'm not full on allergic to bees. And as well as when I got stung by a bee, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. And I still, I still feel sorry for the bee. The bee was just doing his job of protecting the hive. And all I did was just stand right a little bit too close to it, I will admit. It wasn't as it wasn't as close as it was when I made that video, but still, I guess that the bee was just not really aware that I am there, or I am here, or I'm there. I don't know. English is not my best at at some point, but the bee did its job. It kept me away for about a good day, but I'm still gonna be a little bit nosy and then just get more just. Just hang out with the bees a little bit more and more and more until they get used to me and then they won't attack me every single time I actually go there. I want to know how if they actually have a bit of good memory. That's another thing that I'm also going to look up that whether or not if they will remember that I was there or will they forget that I was there. I don't know. Again, I do not know too much about bees, but it's still fascinating. <laughs> I still think that they are adorable. They're just so adorable. I used to rescue bees whenever I would find a bee that's just stranded in the middle of nowhere. And then I just pick them up and then put them next to a flower or something. Just for the fact that I have no idea what happened to the bee. But I'd rather have that bee at least have its final moments, if that be the case, at least to a flower. Rather than just be on the ground in the middle of nowhere. And if it ever comes down to it, then I'll just go look up to see if there's any local beekeepers to talk about. What can we do with all these bees, whether or not they want to get the bees or they'll give us a hive to work with. I'm not too sure of how all that's going to go. But even then, at least that we are keeping a lot of bees safe and healthy because a lot of times there's a lot of bees out there that do not actually get the respect that they deserve. Especially the fact that a lot of people try to kill off the bees and they think that they are pests. But no, they are not. They are very helpful for the environment, very helpful for nature, and especially that of course, with the honey, everybody likes honey. I don't know if there's, I don't think there's any one person that does not like honey. There's honey flavor of everything in cereal, and especially with tea and things like that. Honey is very useful. And for those who are allergic to pollen, all it takes is just a little bit of honey day by day by day. And then I believe at some point that you will not really be immune to it, but you can at least tolerate pollen more and more and more the more that you actually have honey. For crying out loud that we actually have bees in Minecraft now. So you know that bees are very important to the environment if Minecraft actually has bees in there. But just remember to respect the bees. Keep your distance. Don't try to do what I did. But again, I think it's just for the fact they don't recognize me for the, for the time being that I was there. So they probably thought I was a threat. But either way... I don't know if there's any much more I could actually say for this episode of Operation Bedrock is that we have our staircase to go 
and i wasn't really feeling too good last week to do some live streams but hopefully this upcoming week is going to be a better week and i really want to pay off everything that i want to get thus far because i really want to pay off for the truck get a new phone get a new xbox get a new computer and then we'll see whatever that i go with when it comes to my workplace maybe i'll just keep on saving money just to pay off for the insurance and to see what other expenses that i may gonna have to get but other than that is that i will try to do more live streams every monday and tuesday and then i'll try to do a little bit more work as time goes by if i do a late night live stream then i hope to see you all there i will do more live streams onto twitch and especially to twitch i want to grow the twitch platform right then and there but i will try to do more live streams onto youtube as well I cannot neglect the people who have supported me onto YouTube, but if you do have a Twitch account, I encourage you to follow me up on Twitch so that you can have a conversation with me and as well as to see more progress be done onto Twitch. I'm still deciding whether or not to actually upload the progress onto YouTube. Just not too sure as of yet. Maybe make a separate channel just for the VODs itself. Who knows? Just whenever I get back down to making more and more videos in the future, I really do hope that they do pick up, especially with the YouTube Shorts, and especially when I want to get the software to make Minecraft YouTube Shorts. That would be the best thing ever, just to make one-minute videos with Minecraft, so I could get around to doing that, and I got so many ideas I could actually possibly do. But other than that, not much more. This is going to be the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, found this video to be entertaining, informative, or just the fact that you enjoyed the video, then be sure to give this video a like, and especially that it helps the algorithm or the video into the algorithm to tell YouTube that people are still watching this channel, and it helps promote growth for the channel itself and the series too. All right, all right. Just subscribe. If you have yet to subscribe, hit that bell notification. Set it up to all notifications so that you do not miss out on a video upload or live stream. If you want to join my Discord server, links are in the description. Type exclamation join upon the welcome channel so that you'll be able to access the server fully. But until then, stay safe out there. I've been Sword Kings Around Zero. Have a great day or night wherever you may be. And as always, I'll see you guys next time in a new video or live stream.